Perfect. Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Patton. And I'm Kathy Bryan. And this is Women 2018. And our adventure and continues as we travel across the country to meet all these women that are running for political office this year. And the majority of the women who are running for political office are running for the first time. Yes. This is historic in the United States. Absolutely. And we are here in Kentucky where Patty Pyatt is running for Congress in the 4th District. And she's just right here, inches away. Come join us. Hi, Patty. Come hey, in. Hey, Patty. Great to have, have you. Thank so you nice so much. So nice to meet you. <laughs> so, Patty, tell us, your story is really interesting, and tell us how it all began when you were waitressing, three jobs, and going to school, and a, being a single mom. I, uh, single parent, very young, and uh, had to support my son the best way I could, and that was waiting tables and making pizzas, and I had two and three jobs at a time. And I was trying to go to the University of Kentucky at the same time. That is a lot. Um, it, okay. it, I, I'm really, I worked really hard and I was um, very lucky to get actually my first management job right across the street over there. So you went on the waitress track and mm -hmm. just climbed up, right? Right. right. I got, I got a, a, my first management position at a very small privately owned deli and uh, I did some catering with them. And that got my foot in the door to the next one, and that got my foot in the door to the next one. Uh, I worked at the University of Kentucky for 11 years. Uh -huh. And then uh, it gets to the point where to go any further in your career, you, you have to leave. So uh, I took a job in Nashville and became a director and kept working my way up. Wow. My last position was uh, Director of Food and Nutritional Services at uh, the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Wow. By the way, everybody, you might be hearing a little construction in the background, but we don't care. We just keep going on and on, so don't so disregard that. Anyway, back to you. Uh, so, and then a few years ago, Patty, you lost your son. Tell us yes. about that. Um, my son was 33. He had had, um, at 19, some uh, mental health and addiction issues, mm -hmm. and we got him in treatment, and he was... Uh, sober and clean and working hard in the job that he loved and making six figures a year and had a wife that he adored and then he stepped off the meds like so many do yeah they think i don't need him anymore right yeah and uh he eventually started doing drugs again and he took his own life with a gun and you were saying that you went to the march with the kids recently tell us about that and how this Connected. I, I went as a, a mother who'd lost a child to, to gun violence and not as a candidate. Okay. Um, I was really lucky in, in that I, I've met some remarkable women on this journey and yeah. one of them was an organizer of this event. And so I got to stand on the stairs behind the speakers, behind all these remarkable young people at this wow. event. And I got to meet uh, Ethel Gutenberg. Uh, and I didn't know until after she spoke, she lost her granddaughter, Jamie, in Parkland. Wow. Yeah. And that was it, so sad. That whole Parkland was just a disaster. She's, she's been an activist for 50 years, and so this is now her, her calling. Um, but when she came up the stairs back to where we had all been standing, I leaned in and I told her that I'd lost a son. And we shared an embrace that only people who are in that terrible club can possibly understand. And mothers, you had that mother mm -hmm. connection. Yeah. Uh, well, so after all of this that you've experienced, now you're running for Congress. Yes. And tell us and tell everyone okay. out there in cyberspace the moment that you decided to run. Describe that. Um, I've had it twice. Okay. Okay. I wrote my first letter to Congress when I was in seventh grade. That Real. seems to be a thing. <laughs> that seems to be the Amy pattern, did right? The same thing. Amy did the same I thing. love it. Um, I wasn't trying to be a pilot, though. I was trying to, <laughs> yeah, right. you know. Um, but I, from that time on, I was going to go to law school. I was going to run for Congress. And then you heard the beginning part of my story, so yes. life got in the way. Yes. Um, but I, you know, did what I had to do and raised my son. And now, after the Women's March, last 
Not this year, but last year. Yes. I've been a boots on the ground protester for a lot of years. Right. And walking around the corner and seeing that many women and that many families and, and people from Black Lives Matter and the LGBTQ community and so many remarkable people standing together. And there in Cincinnati, there were 10,000 people. Um, and from that moment on, I knew. You knew that you were ready that, to do this. This is the time. This well, the time. we are so glad. And I have one last question before we finish. What, speaking of you know, women and impacting the country, what do you think this slew of women running and winning, how is that going to impact all of us in the country? Well, let's look at, uh, we have men making legislation for women. Mm -hmm. And uh, women are impacted most negatively by Medicare cuts, by cut to the SNAP programs, by cut to health care, um, by cuts to Planned Parenthood. All of these things impact women more than men mm -hmm. because single women right. are raising more families yes, and more head of households. So I think that's one big, big change you can look for. Instead of a room full of old guys, you deciding ahead. what yeah. deciding what is best for yeah, us. Right. We get we, we get a voice in the room and, right. and that's what we need. Yes. And we are, do. We do. What were you gonna say? And Tom? things are going to change. They, they are. are they are they are changing, right? Yes. Now. Well, Patty, this was so great. It was so great to meet you. Thank you. And if you want to know more about Patty Pyatt, go to Pyatt for congress.com mm -hmm. and follow us along on our adventure on women2018.org and across all those social media platforms that you guys all know about. And what's up next? It's Come a along surprise. with us on our journey, right? It's a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll let you know. It's going to be, we don't know which state yet, but there are several in the works. So just stay tuned. Yeah, and come with us. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> there you have it. Patty's coming with us. And remember, remember. Patty, you want to say it with us? Yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Don't, don't vent vote. vote. Every, Every vote counts. counts. Remember that. Yes. Okay, see you next time. See Bye. Next time. Bye. 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 We're off to our Bye. adventure. <laughs> see ya, see ya, see ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>